is Kelly Shaw with the Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization. I'm up at Six Bit Springs. You can see one of the springs in front of you. And uh, I know a few people personally that have had big Bigfoot sightings up here. Uh, this one is uh, by a guy named Larry back in 1978 at this particular spring. Um, he was up here elk hunting, him and his wife and a bunch of friends. And the friends were uh, all... Uh, well, they were all camping down by Randolph and stuff, but uh, this is the particular spring he was hunting at, him and his wife. And uh, they were up here, and they kind of had a makeshift natural blind set up with some logs or whatever. And uh, I'm standing where they saw the Bigfoot. What happened is uh, just before dusk, um, a couple of wolves, and wolves weren't supposed to be in the area back then, but he swears that they were wolves. They come out of the cover of the trees and come down and were drinking, and they were observing them and stuff. And then the wolves got kind of skittish and nervous. Something was making the wolves nervous, and they scattered just as you could hear something coming down to the tree line towards the spring. And an upright, hairy figure, dark brown or black, um, that, that's the description they gave. It busts out of the tree line, and he says it was more massive and thick than any man. And it busts out of the tree line and comes down to the spring and starts drinking. And him and his wife are observing it, and uh, he's got his scope on it, and he's checking it out. And uh, he said it, uh, it, it's down there drinking and everything. And, uh, you know, he's looking at it as a monster. He's thinking he needs to shoot it. You know, so he takes the safety off the gun and slides around in, and he tries taking a shot on the creature. This is what he's told me personally. And uh, his gun acted like it had the safety on it. So he started fumbling with his gun, kind of freaking out, because his gun's not working right. I don't know if it's the juju of the Bigfoot, but... This is what he said happened. Well, anyway, then it looked up at him, and he saw the reflection of its red eyes. I guess he said it had glowing red eyes. And uh, his wife was also checking it out. She's right there with him. And they both said that it had large canines, almost fang-like canines. And uh, his gun's not working properly. This creature just looked up at him. So they grabbed their stuff, and their truck was behind him up in the road. So they took off that way, the Bigfoot took off this way, they jumped in their vehicle, and uh, they went back to camp. Told everybody at their elk camp what happened. And uh, so this is the fall of 1978, I believe it was the end of October. Well anyway, uh, the next day uh, they come back with uh, a bunch of buddies and stuff, and they looked around the spring and they were finding giant uh, humanoid type footprints, just giant ones. So it kind of backed up uh, what they had seen. Well, I guess to this day, Larry uh, doesn't like to come to this area. You know, I tried getting him to come up here and show me around and everything, and uh, him and his son just gave me detailed uh, directions on how to get here. And uh, we're not even a half a mile from Austin's Bigfoot sighting that happened in uh, 2009. And then in 1998, that direction, about uh, a mile, um, another gentleman had a Bigfoot sighting. Well, anyway, look at the abundant food sources. This is edible milkweed. I mean, it's everywhere up here. I call it Bigfoot salad, but it's everywhere up here. Freshwater springs. Um, there's abundant wildlife. Every time I put a game cam up here, I always have uh, several pictures of deer. There's uh, rabbits. There's uh, grouse, um, there's also your moose and your elk up here. There's all types of wildlife and everything to eat. But I thought I'd like to share that with you guys. I just wanna show you guys around a little bit. I mean, look at the milkweed up here. This is the edible fire. Okay, and Derek's going to throw the helicopter up. All right. 
we're going to go put the helicopter up in this area and see what we find. And we're also going to do a little bit of hiking around and leave some game cameras up here.